Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sangram Patil here. Now this is the first part of the video series I will make on the section of life processes, uh, year 10 CBSC biology syllabus. Uh, so life processes uh, are the processes that are required for the maintenance of the baseline function of the human being or any other organism so we'll just go a little bit uh, more into this concept of life processes so what is life what is living being when do we call something as alive or not alive so there are various concepts here so alive is something that is moving so look at this diagram so people uh, the flies fish frog birds these are the moving objects but if you consider plants they don't move but they grow so you can see a visible growth in plants but that's not always true some plants will grow but you will not be able to appreciate that with your eyes but they still grow and that is something is interesting similarly when animals are sleeping or they are just lying down there is no obvious moment but still they are breathing so that's a moment and that's a sign of life but some animals, you may not be able to even appreciate that breathing. So, moment itself is not very good indicator or criteria to define something as alive or not. Or for plants, some people might argue that, oh, if they look green, that means they are photosynthesizing, that means they are alive. But some plants may not be green at all and they may still be making their own food. So that's again not the criteria. And growth, because it may not be visible to naked eye, we cannot use it as the sole criteria to define something as alive, to call something as alive. So here the concept of invisible molecular moment is important. And what does that mean? This is the molecule moment that takes place in every living being that is required for growth, for repair, for maintenance of the day-to-day -day basic functioning of that living organism even when that living being is not doing any activity, any physical movement, there's no growth taking place, but still these baseline activities are needed for the maintenance function of the living being. And this baseline function involves the movement of the molecules. So this is the concept of living being that they have this invisible molecular movement taking place and that's necessary for life to call something as living being so, and because the viruses don't always fulfill this criteria they are you know it's a controversial thing whether to call them as living alive or not because when they are not inside the host cell they do not have any molecular movement but they start having molecular movement when they are they have infected any other cell so why do we need molecular movements you know again i have said it already but i'll revise again because the living organisms are well organized structures they have tissues and tissues are made up of cells, cells are made up of different intracellular components and they are further made up of molecules and atoms and all that and so on. So 
environment is necessary for maintaining the life and it's not always under control of the living organism so living organism will have damages breakdown taking place inside them and if these breakdowns are not prevented or repaired the organism will die so the living creature must keep repairing and maintaining their basic structures and the structures are made up of molecules and that is why the molecules need to be moved around continuously now these are the maintenance processes what are these the maintenance functions of living organism uh, must go on when organism is not making any particular movement and even if is if the organism is just sitting or sleeping this job must take place and the processes which together perform the maintenance job are called as life processes now since these life processes are needed to prevent damage to prevent breakdown they need energy and energy comes from outside of the body of the living being so we need a process that brings this energy source from outside environment into the body of the organism that is in the form of a food now this process is called nutrition okay so we will look into just the introduction of these processes so the nutrition brings the energy from outside source into the body and that involves many more steps now organism grows as well that needs additional raw material and that comes from outside and most of the raw material is in the form of carbon based resources the body of organisms involves breaking down of this different carbon resources into the energy and raw material that is required for building and repair and maintenance of the body function and these involve different nutritional processes the outside source of the energy is not always the same it's varied since the environment is not in in our control so these different energy sources then need to be broken down or rebuilt inside the body and finally they need to be converted into a source of energy that can be used at the molecular level where the molecular movement takes place so this needs energy this needs breaking down of the food products food into the stomach and intestine and that needs to be rebuilt into the body that is that is all important for molecular movement so this involves a series of chemical reactions inside the body and most common <clears throat> means of breaking down and rebuilding of this kind the most common reaction involved in this is oxidation and reduction that is oxidizing and reducing reactions and uh, for this we need oxygen for this we need to get rid of carbon dioxide from the body and oxygen comes from outside so this requires food source at the cell level as well as oxygen at the cell level and this also involves removal of the carbon dioxide that is generated at the cell level 
and this takes place through respiration. Now, in case of a single cellular organism, this all takes place by direct diffusion between the intracellular environment and extracellular environment. So there is a direct diffusion. Oxygen and carbon dioxide they cross directly. The food products they cross directly and the waste products are excreted out directly. But in case of multicellular complex organisms they have specialized systems to carry out these functions and all these systems are located inside the body of a complex living being like human being. So there is no direct contact between the these systems that is nutrition or respiration or excretion or transportation system and the environment. This makes it necessary that these complex food products and carbon dioxide and oxygen and waste products need transport from one part to the other part because simple diffusion is not sufficient for this process. Now this transportation system involves a cardiovascular system that is a heart and its blood vessels. Now the same system carries the waste products of the metabolism that can be harmful to the body from the cellular level to the organs where from through which these waste products will be uh, pushed out of the body and this system is called as excretion. So excretory system is another important system in our body. So these are the main systems we are going to look in this chapter. So from next video onwards, I will get you, uh, uh, get you, you know, get you introduced with the basic nature of nutrition, then respiration, transportation, and excretion. So I will see you in. I will see you in next videos where I will be discussing all these systems and hopefully that will be then useful for you. See you. Take care. Bye.